Visiting a cursed city in the middle of the jungle doesn't seem like the wisest decision in the world. However, when the call to adventure comes into the explorer's lives, they can rarely refuse. Their desire to reach the farthest corners of the planet, where few dare to go, convinces them to go regardless of the danger. Of course, these decisions rarely end well, and although sometimes recklessness and risk halt their rewards, today you'll discover their consequences. Are you ready to find out what these explorers encountered? Are you ready to visit the cursed city? Then there's nothing more to say. Join us this time and discover for yourself the facts of this chilling story. They visited a cursed city in the jungle but will regret it for the rest of their lives. In the thick, untamed jungle of Honduras, located in Central America, there's a secret that the conquistadors managed to snatch from the local natives back in the day. According to Hernán Cortés himself, a mysterious city was hidden in this dangerous place, a town where riches abounded, and a few inhabitants who worshipped a monkey god were his only protection, or at least that's what he believed. However, the reality turned out to be the opposite. When Cortés' explorers reached the White City, as the natives called it, they encountered a powerful curse, which they immediately ignored, but soon suffered the consequences. Most of Cortés' explorers had a slow and painful death. None found a single day of peace and each met their end in a mysterious way. From then on, this mystical city became known as the Cursed City of the Monkey God and disappeared from maps and any trace for hundreds of years until now. In 2015, a group of explorers and scientists gathered to follow the traces of the White City. They all knew about the superstitions and the supposed curse of this mysterious place, but that was no deterrent to them. After all, the tribe that protected this place had disappeared several centuries ago, and it was impossible that anything happened to them after such a long time. This conclusion was there and since the history of this place is much more complex than what they were able to understand. The antiquity of the small metropolis is as old as the veneration the natives held for the monkey god who seems extremely vengeful and exercised his wrath in terrible and painful ways. Some references that have been found in a few logs of the time describe the curse as a degenerative disease that first made its victims lose their noses, then their lips deflated until they disappeared and, finally, their faces were covered with bleeding sores that ended up poisoning their bodies until they died. Even so, Douglas Preston, one of the main members of the expedition and author of City of the Monkey God, decided to search for the White City with this team. Their determination led them to explore the jungle for several weeks, hoping to find the ruins of the city. Unfortunately, there was no way to find them. For days they found not a single clue, nor anything that would allow them to get closer to their objective. However, the arrival of Steve Elkins completely changed the scenario. Steve had advanced laser mapping technology, its name was LiDAR, and with it, the explorers were able to see through the jungle canopy and find the ruins of a hidden city. The discovery was encouraging. Contrary to the predictions of the Pek and Paya's indigenous groups, the researchers had stumbled upon the great secret of the jungle the city that hit great riches as well as powerful curses. As they explored the site, the researchers couldn't help but remember the stories of that place. The place was full of signs of the worship of the monkey god by the men and women who lived there centuries ago. The tribes of Honduras still remembered their stories. It was said that the women went there to bear children half human and half monkey. It was also said that many of their leaders had this strange duality and that the curse came precisely because of the arrival of the conquistadors, who killed the local population through slavery and disease. Nevertheless, the expedition continued to advance through those corners of the past. The place had prodigious architecture in spite of its antiquity, and every corner offered an exquisite archaeological history. Unfortunately, the exploration failed to find any wealth nor did any artifacts or objects of archaeological value survive. All that remained of the White City were the ruins and the shadow of its former splendor, plus the eternal curse, of course. Weeks after the investigation, the team of explorers were struck by the appearance of a mysterious illness. At first, it didn't seem like a big deal. 
Some came to believe that it was just the result of spending so much time in the jungle and the after effects of mosquito bites. However, to the team's surprise, as the weeks progressed, sores began to appear all over their bodies. There was no explanation for it, but there they were open, infected, and incurable. The specialists tried different methods, but the wounds wouldn't close. In fact, they got worse. The infection spread from the arms to the neck and from the neck to the face, lips and nose. Fearful that this was the end for them, the team underwent all kinds of treatments and after several tests, it was discovered that the curse was indeed real. The entire team had been infected with leishmaniasis, a deadly flesh-eating disease which is transmitted by the bites of sandflies that inject protosian parasites into human skin. This was precisely what caused the wounds and prevented them from healing properly. Fortunately for the adventurers, they underwent the treatment in time and after a long process of medications and many side effects, they managed to recover part of their former health. However, all of them regretted their adventure and had great injuries and marks for this disease for the rest of their lives. Since this story was recorded in 2015, many have wondered if this was a fluke or if, on the contrary, the curse was really responsible for the misfortune of these men. Did the expedition come across the sand flies before reaching the cursed city? Was there something in the walls of that place that could have transmitted this lethal virus to them? Would there be other, more powerful curses inside the city? It's still difficult to answer these questions. Each person can deduce something different, although everyone can agree that it's better to stay as far away from this place as possible. Still, the adventure continues. Every day, hundreds of explorers dare to face the unknown and question the old stories. Thanks to them, we can learn about the hidden reality of our countries, and if you are willing to continue discovering other amazing cases that have ended really badly, you'd better join us in the following videos.